remember the 32X? Yeah, this thing flopped pretty hard. And it was kind of limited because it used cartridges. But what if it used CDs? Oh, I couldn't get that to work. Now, before you call me an amateur, just know Sega couldn't make it work either. The Sega Saturn. This console was released in 1995, and, well, let's just say it was rushed the fuck out of the market. Why? Well, because the PlayStation was coming out later that year, and Sega was scared of Sony. So, at E3 of that year, 1995, they just announced on stage, Hey! We're releasing the Saturn now! Everybody was like, oh my gosh, really? They're releasing it early? And all the retailers were like, what the fuck?! Oh yeah, did I mention that this thing launched for $400? Yeah, let's see. Um, what can we buy with $400? Hmm. hmm. Now to put the cherry on top, guess what came out less than a year before this did? The Sega 32X. So yeah, the 32X was Sega's... 32-bit system, right? The Saturn came out. People didn't know to trust Sega because, oh, we spent however, what, $180 on your 32X, right? And now you're just gonna stop support for it and release this $400 system? How will I know if you're not just gonna cheat us out of this system too? Sega lost all of their reputation and this console flopped like crazy because of that. I mean, yeah, there were some other contenders like this being 400 fucking dollars. This console was designed to be a 2D powerhouse. This was a powerhouse when it came to playing 2D games. But here's the problem. It came out in 1995. 3D gaming became really big. So you got this 2D powerhouse that couldn't play 3D games very well, but that was the game that... So... Yeah, and this thing was also, um, let's see... Impossible to program for. Nobody knows how to make games for this. Except for Sega. But Sega ditched it. So this is your controller. Actually, it's the Model 2 controller. Because they fucked up the first time. So they redesigned it. You know what else they fucked up the first time? The Sega 32X. A lot of people compare it to the six-button Genesis controller, and I can kind of see that. Um, I definitely see that. You got your six buttons, your start button in the middle, a rolling D-pad like the Genesis controller, except you got two bumper buttons, and a lot more ergonomic. I actually really like this controller. And this is your menu screen. What does this look like? Lame. It looks lame. Yeah, you just start the system up and it brings you to CD, a CD player. That's cool. And you would think, oh, when you play games, it'll just load the game up right away like every other system ever. We're not talking about every system ever. We're talking about the fucking Saturn. Okay, so I put a game in, right? So you would think, oh, you know, you can press play then maybe, right? Nope. That plays the soundtrack of that game. No, to play the game, you have to go to the top left. It's not even in the center, which is a minor thing. This is a video game console, not a CD player. So, the thing you'd put in the middle of the screen that most people would be attracted to is not the CD player, it's the video game part. Oh, it's out of the way. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, it uses memory cards, but originally in the system, it has a clock battery, which systems from this era did use clock batteries. Here's the problem. This uses the clock battery, 
And it uses that to save. Yeah, you can use memory cards. But if you save on the console battery, and all your save... Watch that battery die, and you lose all of those saves. And you think, oh, that's a battery that's going to last forever, right? No. Those batteries are known to run out in as few as two years. For all of your game saves. That is bad. But, you know, I know there would be some people out there that they wouldn't know any better, so they'd save their game to the console, right? It's like, oh, I don't need memory cards. And then they realize the battery dies, and they lose all of their save data. This is just about what kind of games you would see on a Saturn. Now, when you think Sega, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Sonic, right? I would hope so. There are no exclusive Sonic games on the Saturn. Oh, there's Sonic Jam, though. Sonic Jam is just a collection of the Genesis games. Oh, there's Sonic R. Sonic R sucks ass! Well, there is one place that this console did succeed, and it was Japan. This console was competing with PlayStation over in Japan. Then again, that's a metric. So, overall, what do I think of the Saturn? Well, I do gotta say, it is... It is easiest to tell with the Saturn versus any other Sega system that Sega really fucked up. Uh, there is a lot of things that you can say f um, Sega fucked up on every system. But the Saturn is just the most noticeable, really. Um, no Sonic games. Really hard to program for. It is far from perfect. In fact... Personally, I have absolutely no interest in the system. Now, before you go in the comments, Oh, but there's all these good games! Yeah, that's your opinion. And yes, you will not find any better ports of 2D fighting games than on this system. But 2D fighting games aren't really my type of game. The easiest way to look at the Saturn now is that it's just a prototype for a far superior system, the, the Dreamcast. There's no real reason to get it in.